Broadcasting live from our Columbia, Maryland headquarters, they are founders of Hard Money Bankers, REI 360, and are international bestsellers with their book, The White Board. Here are Chris Haddon and Jason Bailey. Hey everyone, Chris and Jason here in our office, Columbia, Maryland. Cool topic today, we are talking about the four keys to a stable business. Keys, keys, keys. Keys, keys, keys. When things are up, you want to be stable, and when things are down, you want to be stable. Markets don't stay the same. We all need to be prepared, and there's a, a couple good ways to do that. So we're going to dive in. Um, you want to do number one? Yeah. So uh, number number one, probably the most important thing, at least in our opinion, is to make sure you're marketing heavily on a regular basis. Marketing could save you if times do get tough in, in the future. So obviously we understand the value of marketing. We talk about it all the time, especially on this show. But when times are good, when times are bad, market, market, market. You cannot have a marketing cycle where you market, 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 you have a lot of business, and then all of a sudden you stop marketing and then your business you know, stops performing and you lose you lose clients, then you have to start all the way at the bottom and market, 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 market yeah. again. And so, unfortunately people do that all the time. Yeah. They're like, oh, my pipeline's small. I'm going to start marketing now. It's like, don't overthink it. Just put, just start See, it and never the, stop. The it. the one thing, the one fact that we're aware of, and we've shared this with a lot of other business owners that are in our mastermind groups and things like that, is we spend a lot of time, money, and attention to our marketing campaigns, and. If the market does go in the wrong direction, the one thing that I know we will consistently have is deal flow and opportunities coming our way because we're gonna continue to market. They may not be as much as we're used to, but we'll still have opportunities that are flowing in and the rest of the competition who is not continuing to market will really be out of business because they won't have anything to, to go off of. Yep. Cool, all right, so let's talk about number two. Number two, keep your finance game tight. No debt or very minimal debt if possible. Invest in assets as much as you possibly can and, leap and uh, keep liquid cash available because cash is a big deal when things take a dip. Yeah, ca cash is king. And keep in mind, banks want to lend to people that really don't need money. <laughs> so when the time comes and times are tough and you do need money, it's going to be hard to get right. bank loans. So just be prepared for it and you know capitalize on opportunities when they exist. And a big thing you talked about related to investing in, in assets and you know, obviously, you know, whatever additional money you have, cash flow you have that isn't going to get injected in your business or in your pocket, things like that, you know, put into put into income producing assets or an asset in general, because we all know that our assets can outperform the amount of time and our workload that our businesses can can Very create. So it's true. so it's important. All right, number three, stay focused. If things get a little turbulent, keep your head in the game. You know, don't go hide under your bed. Don't say the sky is falling. A lot of people like to do that, obviously. The media loves to do that. They love to sell that, you know, the doom and gloom and everything. So, it, you know, if things get turbulent and start getting a little shaken up in whatever industry you happen to be in, stay in it if you want to be in that business yeah. because you're going to come out the other side and everything's going to be fine. Be uh, Obviously, be optimistic. There's no point to be a naysayer that doesn't accomplish anything except mentally deteriorates you and brings you down in the gloom. So there's really no need to be, you know, un, non, non-optimistic, is that a word? Non-optimistic <laughs> in a particular, <laughs> particular occasion. Whatever true. happens has happened. If a market crashes, it's crashed, right? You can complain all you freaking want about it, but at, at this point, it's already crashed. So we don't really love getting into the mental mindset stuff on stuff. You know, we're not the rise and grind. We're not, you know, hoorah, that's not us. But at the same time, so it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's important and make the most out of it and be optimistic because, the, you know, the, the, you know, the glass is always half full. It, that's just how it always is. And you, you can't think negatively about that. Okay, so number, number four, uh, is readjust your business operations, right? So let's say you have a huge staff and you have you know a very pro profitable operation, and then things go go tough. Don't jump off the deep end and think that all of a sudden, oh, I gotta I gotta fire this person, I gotta restructure this. Readjust. Figure out what's. You know, let's say you know you're doing 30 transactions a month, right? You have 30 transactions a month, and that and that goes down to 20 transactions a month. And you're like, well, you know, these extra 10 transactions, I don't have the money to pay this person. Well, if they're, if a particular person is working on those transactions, let's say you're a mortgage processor and you're used to doing 30 files a, a month, and now you're only doing 20 files a month, and it's hard to keep your head afloat, okay, well, let's reassess, readjust, and maybe play offense. Use that per particular employee yeah. to do some offensive strategies. Yeah, use some of that time that you are going to have if you have less of a transactional workload and put some of those people in a more offensive position. 
I think that's a, a great way to come out the other side of whatever it may be, clean, with your full staff intact, and you know, hopefully leading your industry. Yeah. Because you it, stayed in, did the right things. Exactly. So hopefully you guys got a lot of value from the four keys to a stable business. As always, we'd really appreciate any feedback you, you have. Uh, if you can comment below, or if you want to comment actually related to any one of these uh, key points that that we made, happy, yeah. to, happy to chime sure, in. Obviously, know. feedback's so important because it's not just kind of us chatting, you listening or, or watching. It's all about community, right? And we're all we're all business owners, real estate investors, it doesn't matter what you're in, in, in business, we're, we're all together and it's a community that will kind of help grow together. So don't be shy, if you have any feedback, we'd certainly love to hear it. Comment, share, subscribe, like, all those really good things. Thanks again, guys.